it's really important to validate user input because you've probably all heard the phrase garbage in equals garbage out. So this is the case with any program. If you don't get valid input from the user, you're not going to get valid output from the program. So basically the program will produce bad results. And that can be a bad thing if, like let's say the user is running your program and they think they're entering it, they think they're entering input correctly, but they're not. And so the program's producing bad results. And maybe the user knows it's producing bad results and they're mad because they think your program doesn't work right. Or maybe they don't know, and that can be even more dangerous because they, especially with scientific computing, if you're not getting the correct answer for your um, numerical model for whatever you're modeling, that could be a bad thing. We can do a variety of tests. We can, so we've already seen, we can test for a range. So like with the grades, we could, we, you saw that we could test to see if they enter between 0 and 100. Same thing with temperatures. Maybe they need to enter a temperature between 0 and 100. Or maybe it needs to be outside of um, like less than zero or greater than 100. So you, basically you can test a range to see if the input they gave you was within that range. And if it's not, then you would ask them again. You would tell them they didn't enter a valid, they didn't enter valid input. And then you would tell them what the valid input is. So when they rerun the program, they know what they can enter. Um, we can also look for reasonableness. And what I mean by that is, let's say someone's entering their hours <clears throat> for their job, and let's say that they put in a, like 180 hours for the week. So that doesn't seem reasonable. So then you could tell them, well, that's like that value doesn't seem correct. Check your value and ask them to re-enter something else. Um, we can check for valid menu choices. So like this program we just looked at, the valid menu choices were one through four. So if they entered something other than one through four, we would want to tell them that they didn't enter a valid choice and to pick something else. A really good one to always check when you're doing math is divide by zero. So if you have division in your program anywhere and there's any possibility that, that it could divide by zero, you want to check that and make sure that it's that you're not going to divide by zero before that happens because if your program tries to divide by zero it's going to crash so you always want to check that so let's look at some more code this is a uh, so this program so let's read the comment at the top this test scoring program does not accept test scores that are less than zero or greater than 100. so this program is once again determining someone's grade. So we've already seen a program like this where we were determining if, like if someone had an A, like, so we were asking them for their um, grade, their numeric test score, and then we were telling them what their letter grade is. So remember, if they got 90 or above, it was A, 80 or above was B, 70 or above was C, and so on. So we have our constants that are the um, that are the grade thresholds. So A is 90 or above, so we have A scores equal to 90. So we've already seen this in a um, previous program. So we ask the user for their numeric test score and then tell them the letter grade they earned. So then we read in what they enter and store it to the variable test score. But then we want to determine, like before we tell them what their grade is, we want to determine if they entered something valid. So we're going to do an if statement, and we're going to say if test score is greater than or equal to min score and test score is greater than or equal to max score. So basically we're checking to see if they entered between 0 and 100. Cause, so right here, min score is 0, max score is 100. So and then we're right here. If test score is greater than or equal to min score and test score is less than or equal to max score. So in other words, if the grade is between 0 and 100, that's a valid score. So then it's going to continue with the code if um, test score is greater than or equal to A score, grade is A, else if 
test score is greater than or equal to B score, and so on. And then we have our trailing else statement where we have else see out your grade is F. Else, so we have our else right here. So remember up here, so if test score is greater than or equal to min score and test score is less than or equal to max score, if they entered something outside of that range, so say they entered 120, it's going to jump to this else because this if statement will be false. And it's going to say, um, that's an invalid score, run the program again and enter a value in the range of, and then we tell them what the range is, so the min score and the max score.